Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you for yourself, Lord. We thank you for all of your many blessings that you bestowed upon us. We thank you for it, Lord. We thank you for allowing us to praise and worship you and have a good time. Thank you for showing up, Lord. We welcome your presence here. Now, Father, we ask that you would show up, that we would hear from you today. Speak through our pastor, that we will hear a word from you. Please, Father, and open our minds and hearts that we can receive your word today. That it will be rooted deep into our lives. And, Father, we thank you for it. Now, touch everybody, Father. Touch everybody. Touch everybody. And we thank you for it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, y'all give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. Here is God in the midst of the fire and the storm. Come on, repeat after me. Father, I thank you for blessing me with good, healthy relationships. I ask you to send me the kind of friends you want me to have. I thank you that your favor is attracting godly relationships. Relationships that will help challenge me spiritually and draw me into a deeper walk with you. Supernaturally. Remove me. Say it loud. Remove me from any relationships that would be harmful or would not glorify you. I ask you, Lord, to give me wisdom in relationships. Help me to be a good friend, one who is led and guided by your spirit. I pray for all my family relationships I loose strife and division from between me and any family member. And I bind peace and harmony between us. I declare that the enemy is not allowed to cause strife in my family in any way shape or form as for me and my house we will serve you Lord I speak that all my family is saved and we walk in love toward each other in Jesus name Amen Y'all give the Lord a great big hand clap. Here is God in the midst of the fire and the storm. I'm, I'm going to start in 50, uh, Psalms 50 verse 3. It says, our God approaches, but not silently. A flaming fire comes first and a storm surrounds him. In Mark chapter 9 verse 49 it says, everyone must be salted with fire. Now before I go any farther, I will let you know that it's not coincidence that you go through stuff. Everybody go through stuff. It's good to know where you stand when you're going through something. Somebody say amen. It's good to be able to fall back on who you serve when you're going through something. And everybody goes through something. Some of y'all going through something a little deeper than others, but you're still going through something. And you might see what you're going through is deep, and that other person might see what they're going through is deep. But whatever it is, whatever it is, is deep to you. It's yours. And if it's yours, you're going to have to deal with it. Can I get him in God's house? Lord, have mercy. The Bible says that the house is supposed to be a place of prayer. That means you got to always be prayed up. Oh my God, when you're prayed up like you're supposed to be, you can go through what you got to go through with your head, head up high, chest stuck out, 
Somebody say amen and God. Jesus, help me, Lord. You can go through that thing with joy. And even if there's tears, then they're only going to be for a short time. Because you know who you serve. You know who your father is. It says everyone must be salted with fire. God allows us to go through the fire. Somebody say amen. And I don't mind going through because I learned something. I mature when I go through the fire. I come out just like, oh my God. I didn't grow when I come out the fire. When I come out of a storm, I've grown. Sometimes I feel 10 feet tall. I never feel poor. Lord, have me. Hey, do you raise your hand if you feel poor sometimes? Raise your hand if you, come on, don't lie. Do you feel poor sometimes? Come on, raise your hand. You in church. Then you need to go through a little more fire. Raise your hand if you got a tendency of worrying and letting that worry get deep. Raise your hand. Do you worry? Are you a deep wor a person that, that worries and you allow you to go again? You need to go through the fire some more. Worry don't change nothing. It, it can't add nothing to what's going on. It can make you sick. Somebody say amen. Everyone must be salted with fire. It's like the amount of salt on a peanut. <laughs> Somebody say amen. And some people like, you know, the peanut with less salt. <laughs> some folks ain't willing to go through anything. They don't want to go through nothing. They just want to just, hey, I ain't going to do nothing. I'm not going to do nothing. But you're going to have to do something. God wants us to do something. God wants us to grow. God wants us to invest. God wants us to see. And God wants us to get a return on our investment. Somebody say amen in God's house. You might see that we're talking about relationships and stuff like that. I don't want to invest in a relationship that I don't want, you know, that I'm supposed to be investing in. Can I make, can I make a little sense right here? It don't make sense me to plant my seed in another man's yard. Can I get an amen in God's house? Women folks, don't, 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 don't waste your harvest. God has blessed you with harvest. Make the right decisions, the right choices. God giving you wisdom to like get a man folks wisdom. God gives all his people wisdom. And I'm going to show you in the word of God where you can make it men folks by yourself if you had to. And women folks, you can make it by yourself if you had to. Because guess what? If you got Jesus, everything going to work together for the good. Paul said, Behold, I, I saw through the glass darkly, but now I know in part the mysteries of the gospel. Well, so wait a minute. It says, it says in Proverbs chapter 2, y'all ready? My child. Now, I said I come from the sea because in King James it says, My son. And this ain't just a word for men, folks. My child. Somebody said, I'm a child of God. And I ain't ashamed either. My child, you must follow and treasure my teachings and my instructions. My child, you must follow and treasure my teachings and my instructions. Treasure my teachings. Treasure my teachings. How many of y'all treasure the teachings that you got from Jesus? Do you do you treasure the teachings that if you don't, you're gonna get you going to. Everything gonna buy and every tongue gonna confess. It says it says keep in tune with wisdom and think what it means to have common sense. God speak to all of us. Some of us just don't listen. Even before I got saved, God spoke to me. When did he get on up out of there? Another voice said, Winston, you stay on up in there for a little while longer. It says, keep in tune with wisdom. Think what it means to have common sense. To know what to do. When to do it. Who to call on. How to get out. Somebody say amen in God's house. Beg as loud as you can for good common sense. If you feel like you ain't got good common sense, ask the Holy Father for some good common sense. Sometimes I go to God and say, Father, I just don't even know what to do with this. 
this is so beyond me lord i need you i need your help right now with this this is brand when i got mad brand new i need help with, i went into my i need help with this i was brand new i ain't never been no husband somebody say amen even when it came to preaching i'm brand new somebody say amen it says beg as a loud ain't nothing wrong with begging god i'd rather beg god than beg a man for anything somebody say i could beg the lord beg as loud as you can for good common sense women folks beg as loud as you can father show me the way out of this stuff men folks show me Search for wisdom as you would search for silver or hidden treasure. Then you will understand what it means to respect and to know the Lord God. Y'all give the Lord a hand clap. All wisdom comes from the Lord and so do common sense and understanding. You can't have common sense without having a good understanding. Somebody say amen. Common sense causes you to search for a good understanding. I would like to know the truth about whatever I'm involved in. Somebody say amen. Even when people talk to me, I want to know the truth. I'm just that way. I want to know the truth. I want to be floating on lies and spreading lies and rumors. I want to know the truth about everything. I don't, I don't, I, 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 I understand what people say. You know what? I hear y'all talking about Jesus. You know, I hear you talking about God. I just want to know the truth. You know what I'm saying? How can I get to the truth? And I love it when people do that because that lets me know that they got a heart for God, that they're thirsty for God. And all they want is the real thing. So there's more to this thing than worshiping a statue or a piece of wood shaped like a cross. There's more to this thing than crossing yourself and, and making little teepees when you pray. It says, all oh, wisdom comes from the Lord and so do common, do common sense and understanding. God gives helpful advice to everyone who obey him. Everyone who obey him gets the helpful advice. And, and protects all those who live as they should. They, they stay under that covering. They know what God said, and my God, they war to stay in the will of God and do what God says. Raise your hand if you're a warrior. I war to do what God. God tells us, turn another cheek, turn, turn another cheek. Be quick to forgive. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. Don't he, don't he? He said, for, for, for you who have stolen, don't, don't steal no more. Somebody say amen. He said, I shut the mouth of a tail barrel. A lot. I was shipping out. God say vengeance are mine. That means you ain't got to take it upon yourself. God got it. Somebody say man in God's house. All wisdom comes from God. God gives helpful advice to everyone who obeys him. If you are in obedience to the Lord God, you ain't got to figure nothing out for yourself. The answer will just come to you. Come on, somebody give the Lord a hand clap. God gives helpful advice to everyone who obeys him. Everyone who obeys him and protects all those who live as they should. Living like you're supposed to. Living as you're supposed to. There are rules to life. And there are words we don't like that, that, that's helpful, you know, with our walk in Jesus. Words like budget. Somebody say amen. Budget. Somebody say budget. You know, God teaches us to have a plan. Somebody say amen. I mean, if gasoline got $20, a whole bunch of folks ain't going to be driving. Because they ain't got that wisdom. Somebody say amen. But for you people who are in Jesus Christ, if gasoline become a hundred dollars, you still be able to ride with a full tank. Somebody say amen. Yeah, you will. He'll show you how to get your gas. Make, he'll, he'll show you how to make your relationship last. He'll show you how to keep out of trouble, keep out the big house, keep out of penitentiary. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. He'll show you how to keep yourself out the hospital. Yes, he will. He'll show you how to get wealth his way. He'll show you how to drop the bottle. Put down that syringe. God gives helpful advice to everyone who obeys him. Lord have mercy. There ain't no crack rock stronger than God himself. Helpful advice to everyone who obey him and protects all. He protects all 
of those who live as they should. God sees that justice is done, and he watches over everyone who is faithful to him. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Y'all give Jesus a hand clap. Because some of y'all know y'all ain't really been that faithful to him, but he's still been watching over you. There's a scripture that says that God still has his grace upon you. He got his grace upon you. But God is saying through his word, wisdom, it says with wisdom, it says God sees that justice is done and he watches over everyone who is faithful to him. Those who are faithful to him and those in whom he has showered with his grace. So that's everybody. Y'all give the Lord a hand clap. With wisdom you will learn what is right and honest and fair. Wisdom will control your mind. And you will be pleased with knowledge. Now when you go to spitting wisdom, folks get upset with you. Folks don't too much want to come around or call. When you get to flowing in that wisdom, and God wants us to flow in that wisdom. Somebody say, I need to flow in that wisdom. Because I don't want to miss my blessing. I, I, I want to I wanna flow in that wisdom. I don't want to miss out on nothing. But Napoleon, I don't want to miss nothing. I want to flow in that that stuff right there. Solomon, like like Solomon, wisdom. Solomon, I want to flow. Wisdom will make you great. Wisdom will get your prayers through. When God sees you've been doing all that you can, doing the best that you can, and you sincere about it, you ain't got to worry about nothing. Somebody say amen in God's house. You're going to hear me repeat that the rest of the service. It says, wisdom will control your mind. And you will be pleased with knowledge. Sound judgment and good sense will watch over you when you can't watch over yourself. <laughs> Wisdom will protect you from evil schemes and from those liars who turn from doing good to live in darkness. There are those who turn from good to living in darkness. There are those who have become dismayed who gave up. Gave up on God. Didn't have the patience to let God do his thing. Wisdom says give God all the time he wants to do what he's going to do. And before time, eternity. After time, eternity. Let God do what he want to do. He can take however long he take. Somebody say amen. But while I'm waiting, I'm going to use wisdom. And I'm going to visualize my whole household being saved. I'm going to visualize my soul prospering. I'm going to visualize myself prospering. And I'm going to visualize all my relationships as prosperous relationships. Now we know what it looks like in the natural. It looks real bad. Though. It looks messy. It looks like ain't nothing going to work out. Ain't nobody going to be saved. And I ain't going to be able to trust nobody. But wisdom says, don't call that on yourself. Y'all give the Lord a hand clap. It says, most of all, they enjoy being mean and deceitful. Wisdom says, step back from that. Do you know when a person enjoy being mean and deceitful? Somebody say amen. And if you ain't a part of that, you got to step back from that. You're either with that or you're not. Sisters. Betty's father, my wife, so her father, my father-in-law, my wife said he used to always just let people know from the jump whether he's with it or not. He would say, I'm with that. But if he wasn't with it, he would say, I'm not with that. Somebody say amen. It's okay, out of respect, if a person uh, has any understanding whatsoever, they would respect whether you're with something or not. Somebody say amen. It says, who turn from doing good to live in darkness. Most of all, it says, most of all, they enjoy being mean and deceitful. It says, they are dishonest themselves and all they do is crooked. Somebody say, I got to step back from that. All you doing is that which is crooked? I got to step back from that. I can't be blessed like that. I got to do something. Wisdom will speak. You put up those red flags. Now don't go just looking for stuff like that. Somebody say amen. Because like I said, everybody go through something. But it don't mean everybody crooked. It don't mean that everybody you meet is on their way to hell. Somebody say amen. Believers go through things. And the non-believers get rained down as well. Somebody say amen. You can't judge a person 
and say whether or not they're saved. Only God knows the answer to that. All we know is fruits. Somebody say amen. We watch the fruits. And if the fruit ain't right, or if the fruit don't look right, then I need to do something about that. Somebody say, anybody here eat rotten apples? What are you saying? Anybody rotten apples? Rotten bananas? Banana, you can do something with the banana. Don't let it get too far gone, though. Somebody say, can you do anything with spa milk? Well, back in the day, put it in cornbread. Somebody say, man. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. <laughs> it says, most of all, they enjoy being mean and deceitful. They are dishonest themselves, and all they do is cook it. Wisdom will protect you from the smooth talk of a sinful woman or a sinful man somebody say amen wisdom will protect you somebody say wisdom say wisdom will protect me from the smooth talker when they speak lies to me come on don't stop talking with me now when they speak lies to me I will know that they are lies Men folks, when she speak lies to me. Women folks, when he speak lies to me. Man, I give you the moon, baby. No, 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 you can't give me the moon. You can't give me the moon. He said he's going to give me the moon. He can't give you the moon. Baby, I take care of you the rest of my life. If you just give me a chance, God, come on. You living with your mom. <laughs> They, they are designed themselves. And, and it says, and all they do is crooked. Somebody say crooked. Wisdom will protect you from the smooth talk of a sinful woman who breaks her wedding vows. Somebody say amen. And leaves the man she marries when she was young. And they got men that do that. Some people got to go for a reason. So you can't judge everybody because they ain't with their husband no more. Chances are the man with their husband anyway. Sometimes people marry the wrong person because they didn't use wisdom. And as believers, we got to be able to walk through that and move on with life. Divorce is caused by sinfulness. Can I teach you a little bit? Divorce is caused by sinfulness and heart of hearts. And you ain't got to go to hell for nobody. Y'all give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Don't you let nobody drag you to hell. The road to her house leads down to the dark world of the dead. Some of the signs is, I don't want to hear about no Jesus. I don't feel like all that Jesus stuff. I'm not really searching for God right now. Somebody say amen, or vice versa. No, baby, I ain't off of that right now. I'm just natural. I'm just, man, look here, I'm just doing it. You know, I ain't in that right now. Then chances are that's not your soulmate. Visit her and you will never find the road to life of, again. God is saying, if you get off into something like that, you get yourself stuck. Somebody say, I don't want to be stuck. Say, I don't want to be stuck. I'm going to read it again. This is Bible. It says, it says, it says, mm, thank you, Jesus. If you, if you, thank you, Jesus, the road to her house leads down the dark world of the dead visit her or him and you will never find the road to life again can i get an amen yeah come on y'all give a lot of hand clap somebody scream just a little bit <laughs> follow the example of good people and live an honest life if you are honest and innocent you will keep your land if 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 you do wrong and you know, let me say it again if you do wrong and, and can never be trusted you will be rooted out so we gotta apply this wisdom because we want to we want to have stand power somebody say man really i want to be here when jesus come back 
Can I get amen? I mean, I want to see what's next. I want to see what God is going to do next in my relationship, in my family, in my own life. I want to see what God is going to do next in my world. I want to know who the next president going to be. I would like to see the first woman president. Yes, I would. I, I want to be here when a Hispanic guy become president. Chinese man become president. I want to be around for that. I don't know about you. I want to see what the next suit's going to be on. Somebody say amen. Yes, Lord. I want to be around to see what my grandchildren going to do. Because I'm investing in my grandchildren. All right, boy, look at here. Father, please. I want to see what my grandkid going to do. I want to see what they're going to turn out like. Somebody say amen. See if any preachers gonna come out of we got a bunch of great I book I just ooh My little god kid grandkids and all the little, little granddaughters We'll see what's gonna happen We'll see how long it's gonna take for them to get married in a relationship Somebody say amen. Y'all give the Lord a hand. I want to see what's going to happen with my children. I want to see the falling away of my sinful family members. I got some sinful family members. I want to see them get straight so bad. Ooh, I'm annoyed when they do. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. You're going to know it. You, you can't help but see it. When they accept Jesus on a, on a for real note, you'll see it written all over. They ain't gotta say nothing to you, but oh yeah, you got it, didn't you? Yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it. Lord have mercy. It says, if you do wrong, you can never. If you do wrong, you can never be trusted. You will be rooted out. Folks do not want to be around you when you're a wrongdoer. Folks don't want to invest when you're a wrongdoer. Somebody say, man. It says in Proverbs 18, 24, some friends don't help at all. Some friends don't help. Is that a friend? Some friends don't help. Even if they can, they won't. Somebody say, man. But a true friend is closer than a family member. Some of us could testify. We got friends who are closer than some of our own family. Somebody say amen. Friends. They got true friends out there. Wouldn't it be a true friend? It says in Proverbs 27, 16, it's easier to catch the wind or hold olive oil in your hand than to stop a nagging wife. So wisdom says, I'm not going to try to stop her. Nag all you want. You get tired and shut up after a while. Somebody say amen. So I'll drink me a glass of cold water or something. Can I get an amen in God's house? If a person wants to nag, let them nag. Sometimes people need to vent. After you kept warning people over and over, especially them drinkers, somebody say amen. When they get through butting their forehead and having to be brought home and getting beat up and pockets cut off and wallet taken, <laughs> they'll think about it. After all those DWIs, they'll start thinking about it. Just keep praying. Somebody say amen. Because you can't make nobody do anything. All you can do is trust God. Y'all give the Lord a hand clap. That wisdom says, put it in the hands of God. God's hands are big enough. And if you're going to be there, be there. If you ain't going to be there, don't be there. If you're going to go on through, Lord have mercy, go on through. If wisdom says, no, you don't want to go through, you shouldn't go through, then you don't go through. Somebody say, man, it says, Lord, I mean, this, I ain't right this, y'all. I didn't. I really, really didn't. It says, it says, it says in Proverbs, this is my last verse of scripture. In Proverbs 27, 16, chapter 26, 16, 17, it says, It is easier to catch the wind or hold olive oil in your hand than to stop a nagging wife. In verse 17, it says, Just as iron sharpens iron, friends sharpen the mind of each other. I need somebody to keep me sharp. Somebody say amen. I mean, I, I like the challenges. They keep me sharp. I don't cut 
Betty off from everybody, but I know when to get her to back up. You know what I'm saying? So I like it sometimes when my daughter call and she tripping out. You know what I'm saying? And she talking all crazy. You know what I'm talking about? Because my wife got to listen to her before she answer. Can I say amen? There's people like that to keep you sharp. Somebody say amen. <laughs> Woo! To keep you sharp. Napoleon keeps me sharp. <laughs> Somebody say amen. I got it. But Lipo keeps me sharp. Somebody say amen. We got people in our life that keeps us sharp. Jeremy, you got people keep you sharp. They keep me sharp because you got to listen to them. They real quick. Drink it. Paul keeps me sharp. Just as iron sharpens iron, friends sharpen the mind of each other those friends God put there to help you stay sharp if you ain't sharp you can't get the blessing somebody say amen wisdom will show you how to deal with what you got to deal with whatever it is some people are fast talkers God will slow that whole conversation down and let you hear every word and give you the revelation of that word Lord have mercy Lord preacher the word preaching, they keep me sharp. My little granddaughter keep me sharp. She now understands the difference between a dollar and a twenty. Got some kind of laws coming again. I said, well, build the biggest house, get the money. Granddaughter got down there building that house. House kept on falling down. She kept on trying to build it back up house kept on just falling down boy she put it all in there man house kept on falling down I said see what you're doing in real life when something come against your house you gotta fix it <laughs> I come through I'm giving lessons while she tried to build a house now she don't know she ain't gonna give her one dollar <laughs> she kept on building a house house kept on falling down so finally, I, I tell us, I just wait till another time to build that house. Sometimes you gotta wait on building a house. Somebody says, see, lesson, lesson. Sometimes you gotta wait on building a house. Sometimes you gotta build yourself before you build the house. Y'all give a Lord a hand clap. I told you, you weren't gonna get but a dollar. She said, a dollar. <laughs> but see, next time I tell her build a house, she's gonna do it because she know that granddaddy always try to check her up. She's going to try next time to build that house. When I give her the instructions to build the house, she's going to try to build that house. And she's going to say, oh, yeah, I, probably, I probably shouldn't build this house because he probably going to give me about a dollar. Uh -huh. But then again, granddaddy always doing something trying to throw me off. So I'm going to build this house because it might be a 20. It might be a 50. I'm going to build this house. Y'all give a Lord a hand clap. Lord him burst. They keep us sharp. My grandkids, they keep me sharp. God has surrounded me with people that help me stay sharp. I know how to stay on my toes. I know how to have quick responses now. I'm quick with my responses. Because I'm prayed up. You got to be prayed up. Somebody say, man, stuff happens fast. When the enemy do something, he, he's quick with it. You know, sometimes you ain't going to see it coming. Unless you're prayed up. And flowing in that wisdom, then you can see it coming. You can see it coming a mile off. Somebody say, Man, in God's house, oh God, in the midst of the fire, you can find God. In the midst of that storm, you can find God. There are lessons to be learned while you're going through the fire, while you're going, Lord, have mercy, through the storm. There are lessons to be learned. Lord, you're going to grow 10 feet tall. If you come out successfully and then you got to apply that wisdom so you won't have to repeat the same thing over and over and over and over that gets kind of you know frustrating have to do the same things over and over getting the same results every time just got to make some changes you got to tweak some things some things you got to do a little better but I, I can't see a person making it successfully without the Lord in their life. I can't see them having pure joy without the Lord in their life. Now I tried a lot of things on my own but none of them worked. And even for the ones who do have wealth and they don't have God 
they seem to be going through more than I'm going through. Somebody say amen. God blesses you with the joy, wisdom, and understanding could save your life, save your relationships. I put an S on that, relationships. Wisdom. We're supposed to flow in it. Just as iron sharpens iron, friends sharpen the mind of each other. I want you to keep me sharp. I want you to keep me sharp. I want to keep you sharp. I want to be able to help you stay sharp. I really do. When God tell you to do something, do what God says. It's going to help you stay sharp. God will keep you sharp. The Holy Spirit will keep you sharp.